What's going on? What's going on, my good people? It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. I hope everyone is having a great day, great day, great day. I am super excited, man. I just wanted to come share this video with y'all because I was just sitting over here. I finally caught a breather today, man. We've been extremely busy here at work. I mean, call after call after call coming in. It's been really crazy. But uh, I wanted to come on here and share something with you guys, man, because I always like to have fun when I be thinking about like different things when it comes to online business and everything and have fun while educating you guys right so i was thinking about like different excuses that i get or i hear or many entrepreneurs hear when they you know share their opportunity with other people and y'all know exactly what i'm talking about the ones that say they don't have time and is it one of those things and I don't have no money or why do I have to invest money to make money? I mean, we've heard them all, right? We've heard all the issues <laughs> it's under the sun. Uh, but one of my favorite ones, and I like to spin it in a different way to paint a different picture for you, right? So I get a lot of people that come in and say, well, I don't like selling stuff. I don't like selling stuff, right? You, you, How many of you guys heard that, man? Drop a one in the comments if you heard this excuse. If you are an online entrepreneur, independent business owner, if you heard that excuse, drop a one at the bottom, okay? Because here's what happens, guys. I love when people say that. They'd be like, I don't like selling my friends and bothering my my family and all of these different things. But they don't realize that every single day they unintentionally sell stuff to people without even knowing it. Hmm. You probably don't you probably didn't even think about that, right? So let me let me break it down to you. So in network marketing, you know what I'm saying, we get a part of companies that already have products and services already uh, that we invest into, we see the value in, and then we go out and we share with other people. People come on board, they get the products or service, they join the opportunity, we get paid by the company. That's just kind of how it works, right? That's the order of business. So the people that come to you guys, and I want you guys to pay attention because then that way you can break this down to them. So when you get this excuse that I don't like to sell stuff, I don't want to bother my friends and my family and you know i put my little quotation marks on that right <laughs> put my quotation marks i'm gonna show you guys how it works so just like y'all just like you guys see us on the internet right on social media and we tell you guys about opportunities that we're part of we're super excited we bring value you guys think that we're just trying to sell to you guys well no that's not the case but let me show you something you guys unintentionally sell stuff every single day Every single day, I'm going to show you the reason why, how simple it is. If I'm sitting here at my desk right now and I'm talking to you guys and I put this Gatorade bottle in front of me right now, right? And I drink this and I take the top off, right? And I sip on it. Mm. Take that little drop in there, right? And I say, damn, this Gatorade, good, man. This this right here, this, G, this G2, this G2 is, this man, this is off the chain, Right? So then somebody else that may be watching the video at the time or maybe see me take a picture where I took a picture with it, right? Took a picture, cheese, and I'm drinking this I'm drinking this Gatorade and I get on and I say, man, this Gatorade is awesome. Somebody may come in the comments and say, oh, I love the Gatorades. Where you get that from, right? And you're going to say you went to your, your, your local supermarket or, you know, your Kroger or whatever store you have. And you're going to say, oh, they got a real good deal on these Gatorades right now. You can go and buy 10, 10 of these for $2, right? 10 of these for $2. And they're going to be like, oh, for real? What store? You tell them what store. Guess what? They go and they get that deal. Now, you don't think that you sold them something, but you just sold them Gatorades. You just sold them Gatorades. The reason why I'm trying to tell y'all, like, this is how easy it is, guys, to like you sell people. You were simply drinking a Gatorade. You put up on your social media that this Gatorade is off the chain and they had some good deals on these Gatorades. Somebody come in your post and say, oh, I love those Gatorades. I get these for my kids or I love these drinking these for my workout, mm -hmm. whatever the case. And they say, where you get them from? And you tell them where you got them from. And guess what? They go get it because you said that these were good. You they, they seen you enjoying it. And you said there was a deal on them. They go and they purchase it. Okay? Who made the money? Gatorade made the money. The supermarket that has the, the Gatorades make the money. But who didn't get the money? You didn't. Who put in the work? Who was the one that was on the videos with the Gatorade bottle turned up telling people how amazing that Gatorade was? You did the work. So just think about that. 
Would those people have been thinking about anything with Gatorade if they didn't come across your video or your post? I, I want y'all to think about it. You unintentionally sold them Gatorades without thinking about it. Company made money. You made nothing. Let me keep going. What is this right here? This is a little tripod for my phone. Okay? So any of my online marketers right now that do videos like myself, I went and got this little, my wife got me this little doohickey right here. I put the little phone in here, got the little microphone on it. So when I'm doing videos, I can turn my phone the right way and then I can, boom, I can have it sitting here and chilling, right? So if I came on here and I was like, man, this thing right here is super amazing. I got this for my phone so I can do my videos. This is pretty, this is pretty awesome, man. Like, I'm so happy I got one of these. Now, I'm not trying to sell to y'all. I'm just telling y'all why I'm excited about this nice, beautiful piece of technology right here, right? I'm not telling you guys to go buy it, but I'm telling you why I enjoy it and why I purchased it, right? So then another entrepreneur that's in your comments or seeing what you're sharing with them go come on and they're going to say, well, I've been looking for something so that way I can shoot better videos. Oh, I want to shoot better videos. And guess what happened? You come on on here and they're like, yo, where'd you get that from? What's the name of that? Oh, I got this off of Amazon. This is the name of it. You know what I'm saying? It come with this piece. It only cost me $20 for this right here, man. This thing is amazing. Guess what? Because you shared this with them and you shared your excitement about what you purchased and how it's helping you in your business and doing your videos, guess what? Them entrepreneurs going to go to Amazon and they're going to look for that particular piece of equipment so they can have the same results in their business. But guess what? The person selling that on Amazon made money. Amazon made money. And guess who didn't make no money? You didn't make no money. You didn't make no money at all. But who was the one that came on video or took a picture with this? Cheese, right? Who took a video, a picture with this and told people how this was effect, how this was impacting their business? You did. Do you think those other entrepreneurs would have been thinking about this if they didn't come across your page or your video? Absolutely not. They wouldn't have been thinking about this at all. But because they seen it on your video and you broke this down, guess what? Now they are interested in going to get one of these because they want to shoot videos just like you, okay? I'm just trying to show you guys. Hold up real quick. Stay right there. Uh, I, I mean, I got all kind of stuff I could. I'm selling y'all all kind of stuff. <laughs> See, I'm, like I said, I'm educating y'all. Man, these headphones. I can come on here. Had these on my head while I'm talking to y'all, right? Simple little video. Oh, boom. Love this. Boom. Man, these headphones. It's nice. It's so comfortable. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad I got these headphones. Man, it helps me. Now I'm wireless. I don't got to get caught up in this. You know what I'm saying? Now I can do my videos without having to do all this stuff, right? Bam. I'm showing y'all. Like, I'm telling y'all, these are comfortable. I love these. They're wireless. They, oh, the sound is here. Everything. Helps me with my videos. I could be use my hands while I'm talking because people laugh at me because I talk with my hands. Whatever the case, right? Guess what's going to happen? Somebody going to come in and say, what kind of headphones are those? What kind of headphones are those, Derek? And I'm going to say, oh, snap. You know what? These these uh, AKGs right here, man. These the AKGs. Man, super man, super nice. You know what I'm saying? I love these. Man, where you get them from? Actually, I got a good deal for these AKGs on Amazon or I was at Walmart or I was at the mall or whatever. I got a good deal on these. They was they typically like $200, but I got them for like 120. And then somebody on there going to say, "Oh, snap. Yo, them look dope. I want to go get them. Where you get them from? You give them the information. Guess what? Now they're going to run to whatever store or online place you told them to go get these headphones because you told them these was comfortable and these help you when you want your videos and everything. And, and doing that, they're going to go and get these headphones because they saw you with them on and talking about how comfortable they were and how they sound and everything. And you gave them the information on the price, where to get them from, all of these different things. And guess what? They're going to go purchase it. But guess who made the money? AKG going to make the money. The company selling the AKG going to make the money. But guess who ain't going to make the money? You ain't getting nothing. But who did the work? You did. Who's wearing the headphones? 
You were. Who was the one told them they were comfortable? You did. Okay? So, <laughs> guys, I could go on about this all day long. I could. It doesn't matter. Guys, I can come in here. We getting on cold season. People got chap lips. Bam! Chapstick in your face. I can talk about this chapstick. Man, love this chapstick. This is my, mm, my favorite chapstick. Keeps my, man, my lips get real dry. And I just like this chapstick, man. It keeps me, keeps my lips smooth. It's real nice, man. Y'all, y'all got to get you some of this, man. It's real good. Somebody going to come on and say, man, you know what? My lips been chapped. You going to see, <laughs> you going to see them on a the picture with dry, dry skin hanging from their lips. They going to be like, man, I damn sure need that chapstick. Where you get that from? Man, they got a good deal over here at the Walgreens on chapstick. You know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how easy it is to sell online. Y'all unintentionally sell online all day long. It don't matter what you got. When you go, here's go a prime example. When you go buy a new car, what's the first thing you gonna do? Come on, drop it in the comments. What's the first thing you gonna do when you get your when you get your new car off the lot? Cheese. Right? You gonna take pictures with it? Guess what? Them pictures is going on your social media. On your social media, you got some new wheels, baby. You want to show them off. So guess what's going to happen? People going to come to your page. And they're going to see you in your new vehicle. Pictures with your new vehicle. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to start commenting. Man, that's a beautiful vehicle. Love that car, man. That's so nice. Where did you get it from? What car lot did you go to? Guess what? You're going to tell them what car lot you went to. You're going to tell them your experience, how you were treated, right? You gonna tell them how much money, how, how how much money you had to put down and didn't have to put down. You are gonna break down the whole process to them, and then you are gonna send them in to that dealership. Hey, this dealership, you should go check them out. They they hooking everybody up with cars. Guess what? People going, they going to that car dealership. Why? Because they saw you with a car. You shared your experience. You told them how you got treated. You know what I'm saying? You say, hey, I ain't have to put no money down, whatever the case. And guess what? Them people going, they gonna go to that dealership. Why? Not because of something they seen in a commercial or something that came in the mail. They going to go there because of you. Because you took a picture in front of a new vehicle and you told them about your experience. And you didn't have to put no down payment. And you told them what dealership to go to. Bam, they going over there. Guess what? The dealership got paid. They made money off the sale. What did you get? Sometimes they got a referral program. But what do you typically get? Nothing. But who did the work? You did. <laughs> you took the picture with your vehicle. You put it on social media. You took the video. You did all of those things to drive them into that company to go buy a car and you ain't get paid. So I, I, I'm telling you guys, I can I could do this all day. I could sell everything in my room to you unintentionally, not even thinking about it. I can sell everything in this damn room that I have. Because that's what y'all do. You buy a new pair of shoes, you excited, you take a picture, oh, love these shoes, shoe game on fleek, right? <laughs> Put that up. People are like, yo, where you get them shoes from? Oh, y'all got to, I got the plug. I know the plug got the shoes. Mm -hmm. And you tell them all about it. You feel what I'm saying? Guys, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like, when people say, I don't like selling, mm -hmm. it cracks me up. Because them same people will turn around and then unintentionally sell some stuff to other people. It just happens. So if you already know that you're going to refer people to stuff and tell people about things that you purchase, why don't you come on up in and start your home-based business and do that for, for a business that's actually going to pay you for your efforts, not just no thank you. Thank you for sending these people in and you don't get no compensation. Guys, when I started, when I started seeing that, that's what changed the whole game for me. I said, hell, if I can go out here and buy products and I'm going to refer people to them anyways, and there's a company out here saying they're going to pay me to do the same thing, psh, what you rather do? Keep sending these customers over here so they can get paid and you don't get nothing? Or you do the same thing for yourself, right, with a company that's willing to pay you, and you send them over here and you can get compensated for it? I don't know what y'all thinking, but we in a recession. Every dollar counts. So I'm not working for free for nobody, nobody. You best believe if I'm coming on here talking to you guys about some damn Gatorade, they better have an affiliate program because if I send y'all and y'all go buy these Gatorades because y'all seen it quench my thirst and I was super excited about this Gatorade, 
I want to get paid. I want some of that action. If I come on here and y'all go and y'all buy y'all some chapstick because I showed y'all how it made my lips all nice and soft, right? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to tell y'all. If y'all go buy this chapstick because y'all came to my video and y'all interested in buying chapstick, it better have an affiliate program because I want my piece of the pie. You know what I'm saying? If I come on back, hold up, I got my giraffe cup over here. Hold up, let me show y'all. Got my giraffe cup. What? Who, who, who's giraffe lovers? If I come on here, right? If I come on here and I show y'all this giraffe cup and I tell you how excited I am about this giraffe cup and how don't look, look at them, look at you in the face. And y'all say, oh, I want to get that giraffe cup. Oh, they better have an affiliate program because if y'all go and buy the giraffe cup because you came on my video on a post because I was sitting here like this and y'all saw him staring you in the face. I want my piece of the pie because they never would have bought this giraffe cup if they didn't see a cool guy like Derek Casio here with the giraffe in his video. Like, what? So I'm trying to tell y'all, stop playing, okay? Put them excuses to the side. Put them to the side. Y'all playing around. It's so much money to make online, man. And y'all sitting around, I don't want to sell to nobody. I don't want to bother my friends. I don't want to bother my family. Like, I'm, not, I'm just not good at this. <laughs> I'm not good at this, right? And then y'all go right out there and y'all be posting pictures with everything. New purses, the new phone you got, the new car you purchased, the trip you went on, the restaurant you ate at, the movie you saw. You got that all over your social media. And everybody in your comments talking about how was that movie? How was that restaurant? Oh, where'd you buy your car? Where you get them shoes from? And you quickly go and tell them. I'm going to give y'all for an example. My sister did the same thing to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. She went and uh, my sister went and bought a, um, a laptop, <laughs> and I had been talking to her about joining an opportunity with me. And she was like, "Oh, you, but you really good at those things, Derek. You really good at selling people and talking to people and doing all of this stuff, right? Let me show you how quick this shit turned around, okay? So she bought this. She bought this laptop. She bought this laptop, and we were sitting there, and she she called me up, and she was super excited about the laptop she bought. And she was like, Derek, I got this new laptop. It's one of the, the flip laptops and everything. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, where'd you get it from? She was like, yeah, <laughs> I can't make this up. She was like, yeah, I got a 15.6 inch screen, got 3.4 gigahertz. You know what I'm saying? In there, this girl started giving me the specs of the laptop, giving me the specs of the laptop. Why? Because she was excited about it. She was telling me all about it, right? Now, she unintentionally, like, because now she telling me and now I see her excitement. Guess what that make me want to do? That made me want to go and do what? Buy a laptop. That Buy that laptop because she's super fired up. She gave me these, these specs and how that's going to be impactful for what she's trying to do and all of these different things. All from her sharing that. Mind you, just, just five minutes before she told me that, she said she couldn't sell to nobody. And she pretty much unintentionally sold a laptop to me, had me fired up. I was ready to pull my damn debit card out and go buy a laptop because she told me about it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. We unintentionally sell to people on a daily basis without even thinking about it. Because if you've ever referred anybody to anything, it doesn't matter what it is. If it was a restaurant, people are going to go eat at that restaurant because you shared your experience. If you purchased a car, you was excited about that car, you took a picture with it, cheese, right? And you went on there and you and you told them that they had a great deal, you ain't have to put no money down, whatever. Guess what people are going to do? They're going to trust you and they're going to go to that dealership so that they can see if they can get into a vehicle. Guys, I'm telling you, what we do in network marketing, y'all do on a daily basis for free. So that excuse of you don't like selling stuff to people, you better wake up. Because as soon as y'all click off of this video, right, I can guarantee you, you're going to purchase something this weekend that you're going to take a picture of and put on your Facebook. That you're going to, a trip that you may take this weekend that you're going to take pictures of you on this trip or a restaurant you're going to eat at and you're going to show friends cheersing, cheersing uh, with glasses, shots that you take and enjoying life. You're going to take them pictures and guess what? People will come on and they're going to see it and they're going to want to know where you was at. The, how you was having fun, the experience you had, they're going to want to know it. And you're going to, without a doubt, tell them exactly what's going on. You're going to tell them. 
Like that, I, I'm trying to tell y'all that the reason why I'm telling y'all this is because that excuse has been keeping so many people from from taking advantage of these opportunities online, guys. Y'all can believe it or not, but I'm just telling you. And here's the crazy thing about it: all the places that you shop at right now, I'm just throw y'all a little tip. Uh, all the places that you shop at have affiliate programs. Walmart has an affiliate program. Nike has an affiliate program. Uh, Banana Republic, Nordstrom's, all of these different places that you go spend your money at have affiliate programs. Why? You want me to tell you why? I'm going to tell you why. Because any store that does not have an online presence will not be around in the next five to 10 years. Okay? So they're doing everything in their power to create that affiliate program so that drives you to go out there and market for their company and drive new people. Why? Okay, let's talk about the psychology behind it. Okay, like I said, I'm here to educate y'all because here's it. here it is. In an affiliate program, they don't have to spend money on that marketing. Companies don't have to spend money on that marketing. Let me teach y'all a little business one-on-one. In typical business, when it comes to marketing, you have to put your money out into the marketplace, right? So that's for commercials, magazine ads, billboards, commercials, all of these newspapers, whatever, right? You got to put money out there in hopes that it's going to get the exposure that you're looking for that's going to drive people to look into your company and then turn into customers, which drives what? Money, revenue, okay? But when you create an affiliate program, you don't have to pay money out for people to market, but when the customers come and they convert and they spend money, you spend money, you pay the people out of the revenue that was generated. So instead of money going out, money's always going coming in and you pay the affiliates. Why do you think network marketing is so um, so successful? Despite all the, the statistics and all that, why do you think so many people went in network marketing? For that reason. Because companies in network marketing don't have to spend millions of dollars on advertising. Why? Because they pay us to do it. We all got social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We got all of them platforms. All it takes for us is a couple couple of minutes to hop on and talk about something. Share some with some people. Oh, snap. You know, oh, check this out. This is so awesome. Oh, my gosh. This chapstick. I oh, love it. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of this. A little bit of exposure. Bam. People going to want to know. And then we, we, we the one putting in the footwork to drive the people. So when they come in and buy the company pays us. Not just one time, but being able to create residual income that you get paid month in and month out for doing something one time. This is too easy if you just, if you get outside your mindset a little bit. And you just take a real look into what's happening here, right? At your job, what do you think they're doing? Your job right now that you work at has some type of referral program. Why do you think they have a referral program? Okay? I'm trying to educate y'all now. Y'all better pay attention. So y'all be coming on my videos playing around. I'll be sharing some stuff. And y'all be like, oh, yeah, Derek, that's great. You're amazing. And then y'all go off of this video and do the same thing. I'm telling y'all, y'all shouldn't be doing, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, why do you think they have a referral program? Once again, you don't have to spend money on a referral program. Referral program gets your customers. Let's show you how genius a referral program is. When you have paying customers that come in that satisfy with your product or service, they are naturally going to do what? They are going to tell people about it, right? They're going to tell people about it anyways, right? Because they're happy with the service and the product. So when you throw out, when you sprinkle a little bit of money on there or some type of incentive, a gift card, some money, you know what I'm saying, some different things, then guess what they're going to want to do even more? They're going to want to tell more people because you are incentivizing them to go out and do what they were going to do anyways, referral program that is <laughs> so network marketing is a referral program on steroids that's what it is a referral program on steroids you get a product let's say xyz company offering some gatorade to quench your thirst and you're like oh my god this product is amazing you hear the testimonies you get started 
you drink this and you feel amazing and all you're doing is sharing this with other people man i love the way i feel i have more energy because i'm drinking this gatorade right this make me feel good inside right bam and then you know what they're gonna say oh man you know what i've been working i've been my energy been down i need to get this how do i get this and then what you do you send them your link and then they go buy this and then they, and then when they go buy this guess who get paid you get paid stop playing Stop playing and come get this money, man. This whole pandemic, we've been seeing jobs closing down. Millions of people without jobs. People losing homes. All of these different things happening. But the one thing we haven't seen shut down is the internet. We've never seen the internet shut down. Not one time. Never seen the internet shut down. We've never had a special report on the news like, oh, we got a special report on the news today. Uh, we got about 20 network marketing companies shutting down due to the pandemic. And uh, we got entrepreneurs that don't know what to do. Hey, Derek, tell them what you feel. Man, I spent about a year and a half building my business. I don't know what I'm going to do. My business gone now due to this pandemic. <laughs> you ain't never heard nothing like that, man. You ain't never heard nothing like that. People who online, they winning. They ain't thought nothing about this pandemic because they took advantage of the online world and what this online world has to offer. So if you're still sitting around and you're wondering why you're not getting the money and you're waiting around for stimulus checks and everything, guys, we're telling you, come on in. Come on in. Let us show you the way. It's a lot of leaders on my on my page that got amazing opportunities to share with you guys. Hey, I got one too. But, you know what I'm saying? One thing I learned is that not everybody will fit for what I do. But you know what? I got other people I can get you to because I'm connected, baby. I'm the plug. I'm the plug. I'm the opportunity plug. So if I don't know, I know a lot of people in this industry that I connect you to. You get to pick where you want to be at. Straight up. That's how we do it. All right. So I hope this makes sense to you. I do. I hope it makes sense. But like I said, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all hard headed. A lot of y'all hard headed. Oh, y'all hard headed. Y'all will hear some stuff, man. And y'all will come in my inbox and, oh, Greg, you're great. All this stuff. And then I'll go back. Y'all be doing the same stuff. Keeping you stuck. I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all come on and y'all listen to me, you coachable, boy, I'll show y'all some stuff that over the next six months, you ain't never got to worry about money again. If you just follow what I'm talking about. But you ain't got to believe me. Do what you want to do. You grown. Who am I? Who am I telling you what to do? I'm just trying to share some stuff, share some knowledge with y'all. So, anyways, I just wanted to come share that with y'all. I hope that makes sense. If it does, share this message, baby. Take two seconds. I bet y'all ain't going to listen to that either. I'm telling y'all to click the share button. Y'all going to look at it and click off and ain't going to click the share button. Somebody on your team need to hear this message. Somebody in your life need to hear this message. So they can stop sitting around thinking that these are one of those things. Oh, I don't like selling to people. When they hear this video, this might change their whole train of thought. So, that right there, it's a wrap. It's over. I did it. Drop that hot fire on you. Let's get it. It's your boy Derek Case from Dallas, Texas, signing off. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Mwah.